Minister Jonas says the data assists with decision making. As to what changes we need to make going forward, what new initiatives we need to deploy, what else we need to do. And so the data is absolutely essential. Assisting us in gathering this data will help us across the board in a whole lot of other things, such as housing and you know, a whole lot of other areas where we need to address. The Social Transformation Minister says new programs will be rolled out because of the data received and compiled. The Ministry's Permanent Secretary, Sharon Stevens, highlights another necessity, that of stating a nickname. The first form, it did not have a nickname. And we recognize that persons, they do have the same name. Somebody applied for a funeral grant. And when we looked at the documentation, um, the name of the person on the documentation was different to the birth certificate. Stevens says the entry of data into the system is also affected when it detects duplicate names. She says failing to complete an application form or submitting an incomplete one could delay the issuance of a second package. Acting Director for the Community Development Division, Dale O'Brien, says the data gathered captures the status of vulnerable groups in the country. At the end of this um, program or activity, we will find that we will be able to say we have assisted 500 mothers, young mothers, or even fathers, and also we'll be able to say how many persons with disabilities would have received assistance. The information provided on the application will also inform on how many are unemployed and allow for better assistance by having them placed on a priority list. Sherilyn Beza reporting for ABS News.